Today is November 19th, 2023. This is Anglostic, host of the update, bringing you your daily Wuthering Waves update. To finish this mini series strong, I managed to find a new video of game footage from Billy Billy. It's that video that I mentioned yesterday that was privated. Hopefully, they don't come after my ass for this one. They were probably recording for their own video, you see, because he loved the sound of his own voice. Good news is they seem to be having fun taking the characters for a spin, and for the first round, they took Jian, Bai Lian, and Dan Jing. I'm not going to talk about the characters because, quite frankly, they took their sweet time. For the start of the video, they were just looking at a lot of the eye-catching animations, mostly Jian's. The footage here turned out to be around 15 minutes, and all of the boss content was the one and only Scar. Thus, a unique opportunity. I can actually talk about the boss Scar now. Suffice to say, we get to see a lot of his animations. He's an acrobatic fighter. He has a wide sweeping card slashing two hit combo that has a lot of forward momentum. From the start, he has a huge ground pound attack that homes in on you and he has a 5-hit combo that mostly utilizes kicks. If he wants to disengage from you, he does backflips while throwing cards. If you panic dodge a lot, he can disengage in the middle of his chains with an Elden Ring swift step, so you would waste your stamina for nothing. Right here, you can see Jian using his ult to score free parries. It's kind of unsatisfying that way, but I'm sure I'll use that sometimes too. So what he did there totally wasn't intended, but you can see him using the Concerto Effect attack from Bailian to close the distance and completely ignore the card attack he was doing. This move's annoying. He's spamming projectiles at you now. The Concerto effect earlier would have been useful here. That grab there... That grab there might actually be a phase 2 trigger. Because I'm seeing him do more new attacks one minute and a half into the fight. That card fanning into an advancing kick is something he only does if he's far away from you. He now even has a couple 3-hit combos with even more forward momentum. Oh, he's in the air now. He just did a 7-hit combo like twice in a row. It's 7 hits, yeah, but I don't think it's that scary. That's a glitch if I've ever seen one. First, his grab connects with probably Bai Lian, then Jian's spear toss parries. But the guy is already in animation lock, so while Jian's doing his skill, Scar is already throwing the homing ass cards at him. And this is how you can tell it's a glitch. Bear with the bitrate for a bit. Look at his arm. Look at Scar's arms. He's facing the wrong way. So the player both made a mistake and did the right thing and got out of it in a net neutral which it would have been if Biden wasn't healing him, so he effectively won the trade. And there's nothing to add to this boss fight. He runs out of time, and there's no satisfying end. So let's move on to the next clip. Now we actually look at the characters. Sanhua's icicles are now buffed to the effect of being really big now. There's now the concern that the icicles can obscure important visual cues, but that's a double-edged sword now because it means you get a bigger damage AoE if you land your perfect charge attack. And you want to do that because in the first beta, Sanhua's Icicles did massive damage. You know, what would be, you know what would be fun? If the Mosquito Echo also left Icicles. It would be like a signature skill that would only activate if it's equipped on Sanhua. But of course, that's wishful thinking. That's not a thing. That's not a thing. Nothing to really say on the other two characters, Chixia and Yang Yang, which is a good thing. They were solid characters in CBT1, except that all of the characters were doing elemental damage on their normal attacks conditionally. That was all I had to cover. So, as we wrap up the G-Star arc on this channel, I gotta say, we are really 
sending off everything in CBT-1, huh? It's bittersweet, honestly. I still want to make a lore video on the first beta, but now it's gonna have to be everything condensed into one or two or three videos. Maybe I make this video and they recognize that I'm tapping into the lore tuber market and they put me in CBT-2, eh? 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 One can only hope. It has been my honor to present this to you, and that has been your Wuthering Waves update.